Okay, so I've got my database with my three tables. Um, what if I want to let the user of the of the website associate a person with a new thing? Um, so, for example, I want to go in and choose one of my people, and then choose one of my things and join them together. Well, I need to make a form to let the person interact with my site. But I actually have to build that form dynamically from the contents of my table so it makes the uh, the inputs on the form match up with what I have in my in my database. So I'm going to go back to um, over here. I'm going to make a new file. Let's call this um, associate things.php. Open that up. I'm going to steal the code out of this guy so I don't have to rewrite everything since I know this works. And I'm not going to need this no results thing. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm basically going to run um, this, this query check and loop thing twice. And I'm going to do some trickery here. I am not I don't want to have to build my form like at the moment I'm reading this stuff out of the database. I'm going to just tack the, the rows I'm getting onto an array. And then I can process it later. So let's say this array is going to be called data person. And we'll add on the row um, while there's rows that exist. And I'm going to change my query here to select everything from person. So it's going to grab everything from person. It's going to iterate over the rows real quick. And it's going to tack them into this array for me. Um, let me fix my alignment before I go making copies of things here. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat this whole sequence, but I'm going to, oh, let me edit this error message. I'm going to do the same thing, but for things, so that I have those stored in an array as well. Okay, we'll call this data thing. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm done with my database. I can close it. Okay, and now I'm ready to mess with um, creating a form. I think this is an extra curly down here. All right, so I'm going to pop out a PHP for a minute because it's way easier to uh, code HTML without having to echo everything. Um, I'm going to make this page have an H1 that says associate thing. In my form, I'm going to have um, person to select be one of the things. And then I'm going to also have a thing to select be one of the things. I'm going to need an in submit button. Uh, and then here is where I need to sort of pop into my my PHP. So I'm going to pop back in right here. And let's see. So I need, I have this um, array now called uh, data person, and I want to visit all the things. And somebody has a for each loop. For each data person as P. Let's call it P for person. Um, so I got to fetch the things out of the row like I would have done before and, and grab them. So let's call this person ID is P. Let's grab the person ID, um, person first name is P, dot grab the person first name, person last, I need an underscore there, uh, last name is P, dot grab the person last name, okay, and then when I've got them, I want to um, output them as part of this form. So I'm going to echo, um, I'm going to put in those radio buttons. So this is input type equals radio. Let's call the name person. And I need the value. Um, now i got to pop back out of my string so I can tack this in and have the quotes around it. So let's get person ID is the value. I'll pop back into my string. Close off my input for my radio button and then I want to put their name next to it. So person first name, person last name. Okay. Oops. And a semicolon. Alright, 
let's see what that looks like so far. Uh, where's my link? Okay, what do I call this thing? Associate things. Let's see. There they are, Bethany Petter, Zoe Petter, Fanny Petter, Widget Petter. Probably want some breaks in between them so it looks a little bit neater. There we go. Okay. So then I would do basically the same exact process for my other array to get my things listed. And that's how you build a form from the contents of a database.